Okay, I am going to show you the solution of numerical problem of SLC examination. This is one of the numerical problem of SLC examination of Nepal. And it and this is the question of SLC 2071 Eastern Region. Now look at this question. The mass and radius of the earth are 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg and 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter respectively. Calculate the acceleration due to gravity at the top of Mount Everest of height 8848 meter from the sea level. And another value is given in bracket g equal to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square by kg square. Now, how to solve this numerical problem? First, I want to convert this numerical problem given in language into mathematical form. Look at this. This is the mass of the earth given. That's why I'm writing mass of earth. And it is denoted by capital M and its value is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg. Another information is radius of the earth and that's why I'm writing radius of earth. It is denoted by capital R and its value is 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter. Now, another information, look at this, calculate the gravitational force, uh, uh, gravitational acceleration due to gravity at the top of the Mount Everest of height, this much. Height of the Mount Everest is given from sea level, that's why height of Mount Everest. We know that it is denoted by small h and it is 8 8, 4, 8 meter. Now, another information is also here. Capital G. Capital G means accel this uh, gravitational constant. Capital G is gravitational constant. That's why I'm writing gravitational constant. It is denoted by capital G 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter squared by kg square. Now, the question comes. What is the question? Acceleration due to gravity at the top of Mount, Mount Everest. Acceleration due to gravity. Okay, acceleration due to gravity only we can write this much. Now, I want to show you this is the question. This acceleration due to gravity, if this is Earth, and we consider this is the Mount Everest, the radius of the Earth up to the sea level is given as R, capital R. And height of the Mount Everest is differently given. This is the height of the Mount Everest which is given 8848 meter. That's why the distance from the center to the top of the Mount Everest will be S plus R or R plus S. And acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth is generally denoted by small g. But here question is acceleration due to gravity at the top of Mount Everest at this peak how much is the acceleration due to gravity? I want to denote it by g dash. On the surface g at the height g dash. That's why g dash equal to question mark. Now, we have an equation. g dash is equal to capital G, capital M by R plus H whole square. This is the equation which can be used to find out acceleration due to gravity at the height. Now, G, M, R, S, all these are given. That's why we can calculate G dash easily. Thus, that's why second step, G dash is equal to value of G is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 is given here while solving numerical problem. In the process, we are not writing the unit. So, only number is taken, the value of g, into 
mass of the earth 6 into 10 to the power 24 I am writing just the number not the unit okay R radius of the earth is given here 6.4 into 6.4 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 6 6.4 into 10 power 6 meter and radius plus height is 8848 meter and I am not writing the unit unit is written in the given and I will write the finally unit of the answer ok now we have to multiply number with number and we'll multiply or divide this number power of 10 with power of 10 so 6.67 multiplied by 6 gives 40.02 we can use calculator into 10 to the power minus 11 is left into 10 to the power 24 is left in denominator look at this is real number and we have to add this real number with this so I am going to convert this into simple simple number like this 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 means 1 having 6 0 plus 8848 8, squared or GDS is equal to now there is nothing to do here because number is there and another number is missing that's why we don't have to multiply we have to go through this too 10 to the power minus 11 plus 24 same base then power will add the power so in denominator now what happens in denominator 6.4 multiplied by this this big number we can write this way we can use calculator also 6 4 a 1 2 3 4 5 0 if we multiply this then we will get this number plus 8 8 4 8 now whole is square now again look at this g dash is equal to the number 40.02 remains same into 10 to the power minus 11 plus 24 4 minus 1 becomes 3 2 minus 1 becomes 1 this is power of 10 now I am going to add this to 6 4 0 8 8 4 8 whole square now look at this this is 6 4 0 8 8 4 8 whole square means we can multiply this number with the same number because all this this digit 640 multiplied by 640 gives we can use calculator it gives now in numerator 40.02 into 10 to the power 13 in denominator when we multiply this then we'll get the number this number is 4.107 into 10 to the power 13 if we multiply this with the same we'll get this value now 40.02 can be divided with 4.107 and this division gives 9 9.74 into 10 power 13 10 to the power 13 we can cancel this too it means we don't have to go uh, through this and that's why therefore g dash is equal to 9.74 g dash means this is acceleration due to gravity and its unit is meter per second square si unit so final answer is this it means acceleration due to gravity at the top of mount everest will be 9.74 meter per second square